work for Burbank Housing. It's a management and a development corporation. It's a nonprofit here in Sonoma County, and what we do is we build affordable housing um, all over the, uh, the county, and we also build and develop new apartments or self-help to build your own homes. Burbank has award-winning sites. Some of their, uh, some of our communities are just beautiful, and you wouldn't know by driving by that it was affordable housing. They'd like to go, you know, one step further to help enrich the lives of our residents. And if, uh, for instance, at Gray's Meadows right now, uh, community services offers various programs. Um, the coordinator will come on site, do a survey, get to know the residents and the manager, find out what their specific needs are, and then try and build programs to enhance their lives, which could be ESL, English as a Second Language, or Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. The manager and myself have invited people in the community, leaders in the community, and our residents and their children and youth and I'm preparing corned beef and cabbage and beverages. And I've invited a friend of mine, uh, Matt Flores. He's a gang prevention outreach speaker. He's fabulous. He's gonna be here um, talking about his personal experiences when he was growing up in San Jose and he became a gang member. Que sepan que se puede hacer algo para mejorar, que podemos sobresalir que es vivir aquí solamente un paso más para un, un brillante futuro. And what I'd like to ask is for people in the community to actually spend a little bit of time because I think, you know, from studies, you know, psychological studies, it, it's been proven that it only takes one instance in a youth's life, in a child's life, of a positive interaction with an adult to mentor or plant a seed of hope in their life to make huge dramatic changes for them to have a successful, happy life instead of ending up in a place where nobody needs to go. So I'm just asking for people to just, you know, spend a little bit of time and volunteer.